Yeah, y'all yeah, know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy JP coming to y'all with another how to. And uh, today we have a 2002 Mitsubishi Galant. I'm going to show you how to take this radio out. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, please consider subscribing because this is what we do here car audio tutorials, radio removals, QAs, all that good stuff. And today we're going to go ahead and get it in. Now, this one is going to be fairly easy, but there is a little trick to it. Not really no trick. Uh, we just want to put our panel removal tool behind here boom that was actually easier than what i thought what about this side yep sticking in on the side it's just held in by clips so as soon as there we go pop that thing off like that and that is it all right so now that we got that uh dash off we want to go ahead and remove this piece right here it's only held in by four phillips so let's take those out And the reason we want to do that is because even though all we have to do is lift this up, this one is not just going to hold it secure like that. You want to drop the AC just a tad bit and you'll see that we have one Phillip head screw right here on the back left. This right here, there's just a little rubber boot. So you're just going to pull it through that hole, but this thing is not going to go anywhere until we take this screw out. All right, so now that we have that screw out, Now that thing will slide out of there and we can take out the harness all right so we got that factory radio out of there uh disconnect the harnesses now let's go over here to the test bench all right y'all so first thing we want to do is just basically take the, the little sleeve off of the radio so we take that took that off of there now with this is why you don't need a dash kit because we're just going to take these two screws off of this side take these screws off of this side and transfer this bracket onto the radio and to screw it in we're going to use the screws that came with that so first things first let's go ahead and take this off i'll just set my radio up like this and Put it on the exact same way. Let's just find some. All right, just as y'all can see, we got that mounted on there. We just took it out of the old one, screwed it onto the new one. I'm about to go ahead and plug my wire harness up because I already have it plugged in. Now, while I'm doing this, I know it's a couple newcomers to the channel who's thinking like, man, you actually didn't show how to do the wiring. That's one of the most important parts. Well, I have over a hundred and 50 different radio removal how to install type videos and wiring up the radio each time it's just to me i'm not gonna say that it's a waste of time but i i like to make these things short and sweet straight to the point so what i do is is i've actually made one video on how to wire up a radio uh that will be down in the description there's also going to be some links uh in the cards in the corner that you can see so that way people who already know how to wire up a radio you get what you need on how to take this out and people who don't know how to wire up a radio you you get what you need here and i have uh, another kind of resource for you to go kind of check that out uh so let's go ahead and slide this thing in get this dash piece cover back on and let me show you what it looks like when it's all said and done all right guys so that's what it looks like when it's all said and done now if you found any value in this video please don't forget to like share subscribe comment all that good stuff until next time this is your boy jp signing out